Hello everyone, Justin here and this morning we are going to draw a Canada Goose head. So let's just start by drawing the top of its head. Just a nice gentle curve. And at the front then, this curve is going to start curving the other way for its beak. So we're going to go down a little bit first and then out to the side stop right there. So let's go ahead and bend the end, curve the end out and we'll go to the bottom of its beak and this is just going to be almost a straight line going across and it's going to start curving down and the cheek will be right here so there will be a little bit of a curve that goes this way. At the midpoint of this head then is where this the cheek then curves into the neck so let's do that and then the back will continue the curve and start curving down for its neck the back of its neck right above the cheek then will be the eye and we'll just draw a circle and another circle and give, a, give it a reflection right there in the upper right. So at this point what we're going to do is switch over to a thinner pen and we're going to do some cross hatching. So right here we'll go ahead and add the mouth line just a line going across and then we're going to start roughing in our values so right here there's this big white spot so let's just add this line that goes 45 degrees essentially and you can make it a little bit varied and it comes back down to the corner of the neck joint right there Alright, so let's go ahead and start adding some shadow lines so the upper part of the beak is going to catch a lot of light. So let's just add a light line that goes like this and start shading this in. And I'm going to use just parallel lines here to begin with. Okay. And this whole area, except for this white part, will be dark. So let's go ahead and continue by adding some lines there where we're starting to get some shade, some values. And just continue this shading all the way across. So as I get to this neck part where it's going to be pretty long, I'm, gonna, I'm going to use shorter lines to cover the area. And I'm going to vary it a little bit just so it's not just straight across. As you can see here, each of the, these areas that I'm shading are varying somewhat in the length. And the ends that I stop the lines at just so there's some variation here <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shadow line right here at the top just so I avoid working on that upper part anymore because that's going to be catching some light I want that to be a lighter value alright so I'm gonna start adding some cross hatching here to show that this is dark and we're going to fine tune this some more just to show that there's some texture some variation in the tone 
but I'm just trying to cover some ground here first. And this area here, I'm going to make it a little bit darker, but we will work on that some more as I add more layers of cross hatching. But I wanted to go ahead and add this shadow line just to show, just to guide me as far as where I'm adding the second layers of uh, second layer of cross hatch lines. And I'm going to go ahead and follow the inside, the front part of the neck with my cross hatch lines here. And that's the, the pattern I'll follow as I go across. So let's add some more value here. So there's going to be a surface difference here in this beak. I believe there's like a little hole or something here. So let's go just go ahead and add some lines here. And then I'm going to add some shading here at the bottom, the bottom part of its beak. So cross hatch. Just different direction lines versus what I already drew. Okay, now what I was talking about here, we're just gonna add some more lines, this time at a different direction, but I'm going to vary it as far as where I'm doing it. I'm not just going straight across now. So maybe this part here could be a little bit darker and right here in front of the eye. And for sure, here at the bottom where there might be some darker tones because of the shade, because of the how the light's hitting the head. And I'm going to add a second layer down here, all the way across. Okay, so once we get to the neck, this neck's going to be pretty uniform as far as the color it's going to be pretty much all dark but I'm still gonna go ahead and add this extra shading right here just so in, in the end there'll still be a little bit of a change in the tonal values and just like before I'm going to start with my strokes just going down the edge here so what I'm basically what I'm saying is I'm not going across like this as I do these these set of lines. But in the end you can you know do whatever you want and see what works best for you. See what you think uh, looks good to you. Everyone has their own aesthetic and will find it and go with it. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave this right side without this set of lines just to keep that a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna add more tone right here in the center. So now I'm going to go yet a different direction just to add more tone here, make this center area darker. And I'm going to make this part under the eye darker still. So here's the dark shade right here under the cheek and add more tone, more shading under the eye here. Okay.
all right so as far as this part goes this is going to be very very white so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add a very small area of shade right under here and as lightly as I can with my my pen just to show that there is some shape to this area and add just another line layer of lines just at the very edge and that should pretty much do it this is just a quick drawing of the head and I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and please don't forget to sh like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you at the next one thanks and have a great day